I'm going to talk through why I love cream eyeshadow while I apply a new cream eyeshadow and explain how to use it, my favorite ways to use it, and just all the goodness of cream eyeshadow. Typically I use a cream eyeshadow stick. I love the Bobbi Brown and the Laura Mercier cream eyeshadow sticks, but there are so many brands that make cream eyeshadow and it just seems to be getting more and more popular. I love them. Merit just launched a cream eyeshadow pot. So you may remember MAC paint pots. Now these are a little challenging to get into. And you do want to make sure they're closed tightly so they don't dry out. But remember MAC paint pots? If you go back to like my 2012 videos, you'll see I used MAC paint pot in Painterly. And I still have it and use it if I want a neutral base on my eye. But this color by Merit is what I'm using today and I'm using the eyeshadow brush. The reason why I love cream eyeshadow is because it gives such a beautiful base to the eye. And you can either just leave it at that or you can build out. So I'm going to put this brown color all across the lid. This is a cream to powder, cream eyeshadow. And then I'm going to put a slightly darker brown, mostly in the crease and the outer corner, just to add a little bit of depth. If you have oily lids or if you have lids that are prone to creasing, try this one. I love the Laura Mercier and the Bobbi Brown cream eyeshadow sticks. Those never crease on me. I don't have oily lids. I know a lot of y'all really love those as well. I would say, Gosh, my favorite shades are gonna be right here. Bobbi Brown Nude Beach, beautiful. It is a beautiful neutral. Laura Mercier, you know, I love All Natural. I also love the new shade Caramel from Laura Mercier. I feel like they had it before, but they just did a relaunch. I think they reformulated a little bit and I don't know if they changed Caramel, but I really like the color that it is now. I like that the cream eyeshadow also acts a little bit like a primer. So if you're gonna build out an eyeshadow look, like I'm gonna add the darker color here soon, uh, it will stick perfectly. It'll blend really nicely. You won't get any patchiness or splotchiness or anything because you have this cream base all across the lid. I also love this little brush because it has a tip on the bottom. So you can bring some of that color right below your eyelid as well. And I'm just gonna buff this into my brow bone area mostly to soften any line left from where I applied that cream shadow. I usually don't put a lot of foundation or concealer here too, so this also just kind of balances out my whole face. I don't want the only part of my face that doesn't have any base on it to be under my brow bone, and I typically don't do a lot of highlighter or anything on the brow. Cream eyeshadow's done. I'm picking up Soft Brown by MAC. This is like the prettiest warm brown. If you have coloring like me, do not delay. Get this eyeshadow. It goes really well even with like Laura Mercier All Naturel. It adds a little bit of warm without being too orangey. I cannot stand an orange shadow on me. I just hate it. <laughs> so this brown is like the warmest I'll go. It makes my blue eyes really pop, but it still doesn't feel like... Is she trying to do a rusty eye today? Like it still feels like a brown classic eye look. This Chanel, also called like an eyeshadow stick, uh, Chanel Eye Contour in shade 12 is like eyeliner for dummies. Look at how casual I'm just putting it on my upper lash line. It's like impossible to mess up. It's this beautiful brown gray. It looks great with a warm brown because it contrasts just enough to where you can see it but it is not a very strong line of liner. If you watch any makeup tutorials from me from the past few years, you know I'm not doing like a black eyeliner on my upper lash line anymore. I just feel like it looks too harsh. So a soft shade. You could use like a Bobbi Brown shadow stick if you have one in a darker color for your eyeliner there because there's like no blending required. You could just use your finger to soften it, but the Chanel stick, I don't know, it just goes on so easily and blends right out. So I'm gonna bring a little bit of it to my lower lash line, basically right at the base of those lashes. I'm really not trying to do a heavy, strong line down here. My mascara routine lately has been two coats of Lancome Lashy Doll and then one coat of Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. The final step is a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes using Clinique's Bottom Lash. This is the only mascara I use on my lower lashes. I don't have a ton of lashes, so this tiny little wand and this very dry formula works perfectly. I never have fallout or flakes or smudges or anything. 
and it just defines the lashes enough for me at the lower lash. That is the final look. Get these clips out, shake the hair out a little bit. You saw how easy cream eyeshadow is to use. I'll put a whole list of my favorites, all the brands I use, all the like colors I go for. You can see I typically use a matte brown shade. I just like that as the base, but there are so many gorgeous like green shimmery eyeshadow sticks, blue, like indigo blue ones that you could use for liner or you could buff it all over the lid. There's just so many options. So I hope it was helpful to see how I used this specific one, but any of the brands I've talked about in the past, if I've used it, I love it and I recommend it, but you can find the list below this video.